to say that uh, someone is weird and creepy is not a very nice way to describe their Asperger's syndrome characteristics. I do not. I did not go to university to be subjected to rejection and negative comments about my characteristics that might make me come across to people as strange. I do not set out to be creepy. I do not set out to be weird. The book that I've got here that I just showed you and other books say that people must try and accommodate my social interaction problems. So yes, methadrone, apparently it's been sweeping comprehensive schools here in the United Kingdom. I was hearing about on the radio earlier on, completely shocking. Apparently teenagers are completely are addicted to it, and it's a so-called legal high. Apparently it's bird food, my friend Charlotte was telling me. Uh, so, uh, 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 why can't these kids just say no? Hello everybody, I'm Chris Williams and welcome to my video blog for the, uh, Friday the 19th of March 2010. You can see that uh, uh, I'm speaking to you a bit of a university theme at the moment. This is because I'm doing a distance learning course for the Open University and I've just received back one of my assignments, first assignment for the current term and I scored 71%, the highest score I have ever achieved in any type of university, whether it be physical university or distance learning university. So see, I have got the talent after all. So there, to so those who said I didn't have what it takes uh, to do well in any type of university. Of course, regular viewers will know that uh, I was unhappy in that physical university I went to, but uh, I'm not really uh, supposed to talk about that because uh, they didn't like it. And also they offered me uh, a goodwill gesture, although I haven't received it yet, uh, I hope to be receiving it sometime soon, and that will then make up for the distress I went through in the physical university where I feel I underperformed because of the distress I was under. It would be nice to read out to you, the YouTube viewers, some old emails I was reading through myself on my computer earlier on, but uh, I think the people who sent me those emails would feel a bit embarrassed if I read them out, so uh, maybe that will wait for some other time. Anyway, after the break, I'm going to be talking about a documentary I saw on the TV the other night about the John Lewis department store here in the United Kingdom. So stay with me after the break. <laughs> Please do check out my newly revamped blog, musingsofchriswilliams.blogspot.com. New features added include an update of the BBC News. You can also uh, visit Amazon.com from my site now. You also have the opportunity to click to become my Twitter friend. You can subscribe to me at the blog, as you could do previously. Also, there's the new opinion poll where I ask you a variety of questions with some multiple choice options for you to select from. The blog features uh, largely the full library of my past uh, YouTube videos. So that's uh, musingsofchrisswomens.blogspot.com. Do uh, go and have a look. And if you want to comment on it, my persons, you can use your YouTube account uh, to comment on my blog. As both YouTube and blogspot.com are members of the Google family. So that's musingsofchriswilliams.blogspot.com. Where's my hat gone? Well, it was here a few moments ago. Right, so yes, as I was going to say, the John Lewis documentary. John Lewis, as you might know, uh, a very. No, I thought it was a posh English shop. I'm blogging here in Cardiff, United Kingdom, Cardiff Capital Worlds, of course. And John Lewis opened its uh, first uh, branch in the Wales here in Cardiff a couple of months ago. And um, to be honest, uh, I've only been in there to get a tin opener, but there's a bit of nowhere else sells tin openers. How ridiculous. When your tin opener breaks, you need a new one, but nowhere sells them. Very odd. And um, well, one tin opener I did see in, t in uh, Arrival to John Lewis is where you stick batteries in it. Well, why do you need batteries for tin openers? It's just ridiculous. So I went to John Lewis and got a tin opener for £7.99. But this documentary that I saw showed that, uh, you know, as you might know, John Lewis, big department store, 
and uh, I'm glad I don't work there, but they are very pedantic from what I could see on the documentary about uh, how knowledgeable the staff is. So, like, if you're wanting to buy clothes, for instance, rather than f uh, f feeling uh, free to choose whatever garments you want, you, you might have an expert saying, Can I help you, madam? Or can I help you, sir? And uh, uh, how about this garment? This is intended for the 50-year-old middle-aged entrepreneur. Or how about this? This is intended for the 25-year-old student. You wouldn't be interested in this, but it's for the young middle-aged, uh, the, the, uh, the young person who's going through uh, uh, a crisis in their life, you know, that sort of thing. And, uh, uh, here is a range of saucepans. This saucepan is for the uh, person who lives on their own, whereas this saucepan is for the happily married person. I recommend you buy this one, that sort of thing, because it fits in with your uh, requirements. You know, it's just a saucepan at the end of the day. You know, I think John Lewis overemployed people. Uh, no, uh, uh, compared to other shops that I know that are similar to John Lewis, you don't uh, have people smartly dressing. Can I help you, Sue? Can I help you, madam? No, they just leave you to it. Uh, so, uh, uh, the John Lewis chain is a partnership. It was, it was clear in the documentary that uh, the management don't dictate to the staff. They're all friends. And that, that, uh, was interesting. I thought Percy that it was a kind of a jolly hockey sticks mentality. So, uh, uh, the, the chief executive, I think that's it. Might be managing director actually who appeared on the show. He seems nice and friendly. So I wouldn't mind working for him. But I'm saying is I'm glad that uh, I don't have to uh, be dictated about uh, my uh, uh, my hair si uh, my the length of my hair. I'm glad I don't have to uh, be clued up on. Uh, uh, various trivial detail which uh, they aim to impress the uh, customers with. Uh, so, uh, to be honest, I don't think the John Lewis store is for me. And of course, I'm from a working class background. Class is something that people take rather seriously here in the United Kingdom. The John Lewis store uh, is mostly uh, catering for the upper class, and the, the middle class, and those who are parliamentarians, uh, supposedly uh, claimed on their expenses uh, items that are on the so-called John Lewis list. Uh, so, uh, I think it's fair to say that, no, obviously they don't say, ah, oh, your working class don't come into the shop, that sort of thing. I suppose it's a case of, uh, 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 if you're working class and you go into John Lewis, you do think to yourself, ah, oh, this is all uh, sort of grand and posh and profoundly English, you know, a bit of a culture shock compared to what I'm used to here in the Wales, but if you go into a shop that sells saucepans or clothes, the person behind the counter is just wearing jeans, and they, they're sort of falling asleep at the counter, and they say, yeah, just help yourself, let me know if you need any help, that sort of thing, there's someone who's half awake. The, the John Lewis store, the staff, and uh, uh, they're paid to be as helpful as possible, but I suppose there are times where you don't want the help, and the person might become irritated. And of course, uh, you might have noticed this yourself in shops, that uh, some shops these days, supermarkets in particular, they employ someone on the end of the counter with a plastic bag, and they say, do you need any help with your packing? Well, uh, uh, if, do you look like you need help with your packing? If you're an elderly woman, you probably do need help, but uh, if you're a young man, then uh, you probably don't need help with your packing. You're able to do it yourself, so, uh, uh, again, the, these places are over-employing people to do f tasks in the workplace that are not completely necessary, if you catch my drift. Uh, but uh, John Lewis, of course, one of the uh, big survivors of the recession here in the United Kingdom, uh, but, uh, as I say, I think I will seldom go in there. Uh, I think I'm okay with the shops that I normally go to, in particular British home stores, which is commonly known as BHS these days here in the United Kingdom. Okay, thanks for joining me on this video blog. I hope you'll join me for more videos in the next few days, weeks, and months. I try to blog on a daily basis. If you watch me daily, you didn't see me yesterday because I was too busy. Uh, but uh, until next time, it's bye for now. Bye bye.